Hello and welcome to another ship replay. This one is uh, slightly different. Uh, I am not playing in it. No, we've got a team of three ships here, and we've got Ernest, the Ernest Mark II, sailing the V25 destroyer. Well, you could argue it's a destroyer. You could also argue it's an oversized torpedo boat, depending on what references you actually read. But no, he actually plays a lot on the NA server, but he has actually transferred a little bit to play on the EU server. Hence why this guy is very skilled, yet is running a non-premium account. So who is he playing with? Well, he's playing with two other guys. And this is part of a stream. I didn't watch the stream. This is part of the stream from the military history visualized guy. And it's very apt that it's in German because I believe he's Austrian. So we've got German sound. Um, so, and uh, during his stream, you can actually join if you've got World of Warships or other games and play with him. And I've played with him a couple of times. And man, does it make a difference when you know you've got, well, probably only about 15 people watching, but it can be thousands. It's truly stunning unreal i don't know how all the top ones like cookie baby and jingles and anybody else that do this on a regular basis manage it because it was very tough so quite thankfully they're all in the um they've all spawned together in a map and they're going after the campbelltown now the campbelltown is actually paired up with a wix probably the two of the most powerful destroyers at this tier you could argue and he's coming around for strike here he is, Campbelltown, very close range. Keeps his cool, Campbelltown's turned in. Missing that one torpedo, but there's another three on this way. Come on. Bang, fantastic. First blood, devastating strike. And taking out one of the premium tier two destroyers. Now, he's after, now his friend the Wix is running like mad. And hell, he dropped the smoke screen. Why not use it? Brilliant. So as he chills out in here. I can tell you a little about the military history visualized um, YouTube channel. It will be linked below in the comments. It's a fantastic small tidbits of very detailed content on some very tough subjects, particularly with the Weimar army and World War II in general. He has tried to spread out into other areas, but he is very particular about what sources he does use. So you know what you're getting is very well researched compacted and presented in a lovely manner so what is old ernie going to do here and no he doesn't drive a milk float never mind you probably don't get that at all that reference whatsoever moving on from my dumb references um ernie's doing a fantastic job here he's pushing into this gap utilizing the smoke of the enemy he's got plenty of targets to uh, have a pop at but he chooses the nassau I think, yep, the Nassau there on the right hand side, which is a tier 3 German battleship and a very nasty customer to actually fight. It was the German version of the Dreadnought class. His uh, friend's smoke screen, or the enemy's smoke screen, is now um, gone, so he's now popped his own smoke to uh, continue this wonderful position he is, sneaking into A at this point. So he can cover this entrance quite beautifully and also cap. They're looking pretty good. Two. And another two. And can he finish him off with guns? Yes, he can. Second strike so far. And he's rather happy about that. I got the Nassau. Yay! Now for the Bellerathon, the uh, British Tier 3 battleship. Or the, uh, of the Dreadnought class. Very beautiful ship. They are utterly stunning. Unique when they came out. But more of a... As a reaction. Because they British found out that others... And another two hits. And a fire. He probably repaired that damage. We've already lost uh, one of his buddies. But he's going to have to get out of dodge. Those guns... 
There's a lot of them, and they're aiming for him. Ooh. <laughs> Just got out of that one. Yes, and they do. And they are losing at the moment, even though they've got two of the caps. They are three, about three or four ships down to their three. The enemy's three. So he's coming back round to try and support his teammate, but I don't think he's long in this world. And he's got a destroyer on his flank, which is probably spotting him from all these ships to the right. Boom. That he's feeling there you are, I said he's feeling got a bit of lag. And you're also um speeding around in a very fast little vessel here. It's quite interesting. I love this sort of early destroyer designs because they weren't that big. It was not until pretty after the war, until you got set on the designs of the 4.7 and 5 inch guns and the 2 or 3 torpedo arrangements. At this time in the war, um, when they were first designed, the British went for mainly gunboats. So they had a lot more guns on their ships. And the Germans went for a lot more torpedoes. Um, their own doctrine was to have sea-going torpedo vessels. Hence the name. So they're almost called Grossa torpedo boats rather than necessarily destroyers. And every good guy doesn't see their explosion. Every cool man never sees the explosion. Another one down. Up to three. Uh, yeah, he overextended his friend there, his teammate. And he's getting shot at from all the directions. But he snokes back up. And he punches it into layer smoke screen. He first thinks that Wix is going to come to this side. To the left hand side of that island. But it's actually sco scooting around the back now. So good old Ernie. See if there's any targets in front. And then spots proximity spots the Wix. Punches his uh, speed control, which is quite n known of knowledge. So he's going, so he can get go backwards faster, in this sense. And sure enough, he's going ten knots backwards. And the Wicks has uh, pulled the knots and hit the island deliberately or not. I don't know. Maybe trying to lay his own trap for Ernie here to come round, because sooner or later he will be spotted. Comes round. That works is getting pummeled by our friendly battleship in the right there. I can't tell you what whose it is. He's gonna jump for it. One torpedo gone. Two torpedoes gone. Three torpedoes gone. Only need one though. <laughs> Excellent work, Ernie. Excellent. Come on. You only got a four another. Five ships to uh, carry with with uh, two thousand health. You can do it. I'm. I believe in you. And comes round that Samson is not long in his world. Uh, he's losing health fast, and there's St. Louis battering him. There's um, out of nowhere a Weymouth appears. Torpedoes are now back up. We're down to five hundred health. Can he get him? One. Second set of torpedoes away. Doom. But is it enough? Is it enough? There's Confederate. Devastating strike, crack and unleash, and a flesh wound. Fantastic result. Well done, Ernie. And a big thanks to the Military History Live and his partner in his team, Tafla International. But you can't take it away from him, folks. The star of the show has got to be Ernie in the V25 Destroyer. So we've taken away Confederate, Kraken, High caliber, three devastating strikes. Coming top of this team with 1,000, 1,000 points. And, well, huge amounts of damage. And finally, his results screen. Hopefully you enjoy it, folks. Check those other guys' uh, YouTube channels out and their Twitch channels. It's a great experience. Thank you very much and enjoy.